Hello, this is Julia Whittup with Talk Story TV, and we have with us this morning for the Author School Show, Kathy Condon, who is going to be speaking to us about face-to-face -face networking. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Julia, and greetings from Palm Springs, California. Oh, is it nice there? It is. It's gorgeous. Great morning. I had coffee out with someone, did a lot of brainstorming. Yes, it's beautiful. Wonderful. Okay, well, I really enjoyed your book, Kathy, Face-to-Face -face Networking, and I'm looking forward to reading your uh, article in our newsletter Monday, and looking forward to your seminar that you'll be giving later on. So, before that, though, let's cover a little bit about what will be in your seminar. Let's talk about face-to-face -face networking. <laughs> well, it, obviously it's one of my favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one and of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably one of the most favorite subjects, Julia, and it's probably about building relationships and it's talking to people period so in other words every time I walk out of my off my house and I'm immediately networking with people that I'm talking to and you know it turns out that the landscape architect in in my area here is one of my best buddies and you want to know find out what's going on and you network with him and you can find out all kinds of things so people believe that networking is this complicated thing up on some kind of high pedestal that is very hard to do but the truth is you do it every day and you even do it in the grocery store line so I want to take away the fear of it and I'm also going out on a limb and say something Julia that I'm going to be writing an article about it it won't be the one that I have in the newsletter but it's going to be one soon is I don't go to events that are labeled networking events I find they're really not very helpful because most of the time events that are labeled networking events the decision makers don't go to they go to fundraisers they go to you know volunteer events going on and so on and I want to give you an idea of how I choose what events I go to and so one of them recently was in the newspaper and again I don't care what anyone says I read my local newspaper every single morning because that's where I find my networking events and people keep asking me well why did you find out about that and I read the tiny little articles that are in the newspaper I, I you know I kinda go through the captions I don't read all the grisly stuff that's happening in the world but it is amazing what you can find so um, just this week there was a little tiny article and it said that there was a scholar going to be talking at one of our country clubs nearby which I had not been to on the subject of Hemingway and I thought well that sounds really interesting in fact let me think I've never been to this country club so number one it's a way to go to the country club number two I can learn about Hemingway so those are my criteria can I learn something or will I have fun that's how I decide whether or not I'm going to go so I went off to this event one of the finest speakers I've heard in a long time learned a lot about what influenced Hemingway to write his books talked with the author afterwards and I had coffee with her yesterday I set the appointment up got in touch with her had coffee with her and we figured out how to way to promote each other huh. all because I read that little article in the newspaper and took the trouble to go to the meeting exactly and it's called follow-up Julia which as I'm finding out is really what people are not doing this day and age we have got to follow up and do what we say we're going to do yes okay so when you go to a event and you tell someone you'll call you need to call absolutely and you will stand out for that reason alone or you know send the email or and the other thing is is that I'm a firm believer when I meet someone 
Um, you know, send a LinkedIn. I, I, I really, really appreciate and like LinkedIn for networking. And when I meet somebody out and about, I will normally send um, a request. And again, I want to point out when you're networking on social media, what you want to do is don't use what they have there. I want you to connect you to my professional link or whatever. What you want to do instead is change it and say, it was great meeting you at the lecture the other night. And I would, you know, or and say something else. You don't have to say a lot and then send it off. But please, please, please change what the LinkedIn professional link says when you send it. So that it's more personalized. Exactly. Because what oh. you want to do is you want to start building relationships. And if you're a little bit different, that relationship is already starting to be built a little bit better. Okay. And you on your book, on the back of your book, it says, what tools do I need? What tools do we need? Okay, I'm glad you asked that question because there is a rumor going around that one does not need contact cards or formally called business cards. And I just not buying into that at all that we just because we have smartphones that we don't need contact cards it's also fascinating being in an area where there's a lots of retired people uh, here in Palm Springs and things how they are smart enough to have cards yet even though they don't have a business so this is the point is your name address and phone number and email on a card with you at all times is absolutely necessary because you never ever know one of my hobbies is going to garage sales here in Palm Springs they're beyond wonderful here I can't tell you how many people I have exchanged contact cards with going to garage sales so try to tell me that we don't need them so that's huge and the other one I believe quite firmly is to have a name tag made with your name on it only and I've gone through a lot of reiterations of what my name tag would look like but now it's a it's an oval shape it's black and it has my name Kathy Condon on it that's all it has when people get name tags made they put the logo on and they put their title on you know, try to read that. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense because you're not building the relationship with the company, you're building the relationship with the person in the first place. So make the name tag easy to read. And I have discovered, and the women will appreciate this a great deal, is the ones with the, with the magnets is the way to go because you won't ruin your clothes. But the thing of it is, it that way you don't have to go stand in line to get the name tag made you don't have to keep putting it on because it's falling off all the time you have your name tag and you have it readily available and the third thing is is that this is the one that will surprise people the most but I'm also the firm believer that it will be the thing that makes you stand out beyond anyone else and that is note cards to write handwritten notes and I'm saying it again yes handwritten notes you can send an email like I opened up my email this morning and there were 140 new email so I went okay fine and then there was a note in there say it was great meeting you Kathy and I go oh that's nice and I deleted it right away the bottom line is people do not get personal mail this day and age and if you think that the young people won't appreciate it I just want to assure you I've tested it the young people say to me we never get never get any kind of personal mail the ones that I've run into who have gotten personal mail think it's the, it's like a gold to them it's really really important so when you're networking with someone just three lines you know it was great meeting at so-and-so event and they write something about that you learned about them and then say I trust that we'll connect in the future or something and then you put your contact card in it and you mail it off and you see what the need is for another use for this contact card is to have it so that you can put it in there and it is not and I repeat it it's not a matter of it being uh, advertising yourself it's making it easy for the person to connect with you so those are my three things contact cards name tags and the note cards okay yeah I never thought well I never thought about the note cards. That's a great idea. But how do you get their mailing address? 
Most of the time on their their contact cards, if you exchange contact cards, fortunately their name their name is on there. And if not, if they have a website, I go to the website and I get it. And that's why I'm getting to be an also big bug about Julia. I people not putting their their name and location on cards is let's say you wanted to hire someone and you thought that they were in your own community and you find out that they're like you know 500 miles away to me it makes a difference it just personalizes by keep putting your address and stuff on these cards mm -hmm. and yeah. the website I, I don't I don't want to work with somebody in you know in a foreign country if I'm thinking I have somebody here in the United States in my state it just doesn't make sense to me so right. I don't want to do that later when I'm talking to them I want to know it right at the beginning right okay that makes sense um, this is a good one this another question from the back of your book how do I move on from a conversation <laughs> that is so awkward you know what it's only because we think it's awkward Julia uh, now just think about how many zillions of times people have gone away from you and it, it's really pretty easy so when this is another surprise for people when I go to a one hour networking event I plan on meeting only three people total during the whole event because I want to be talking to them and asking them questions which we can cover in a seminar in the future but the thing of it is is that when you are ready to move on. I use for example said, you know what? I promised myself I would meet three people tonight at this event and I've only met two. I need to move on. Then you say to them, by any chance do you have a contact card? That's when you exchange the contact card and you shake hands and you move on. And and this will may come as a surprise to some people, but people don't really stay awake at night worrying about you walking away from it. It's just <laughs> not an issue. You can also say, you know what, I'm going to go get a refill. I'm, you know, it's not an issue. And I don't know why we made it such a big issue, but apparently it is an issue. But it's it's really such a common thing. But that's one of those things, if people don't understand, it kind of puts fear into them regarding the whole subject of networking. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That one is the one that always stumped me. Yep. Don't worry about it anymore. <laughs> okay. And how about this one? What do I do when I walk into a room full of strangers? Okay, I don't know of anyone, and this including myself, in particular when I'm out speaking and training, and then you walk into the room and you are the stranger without any question. So it is something very easy to do is and a phenomenon. I'm, one of my traits, uh, talents is, is figuring out patterns. So when you walk into a room, Interesting enough, there is not anything to the right of the of the door. There may be a palm tree or a garbage can, but there's not the food, there's not the coat rack, there's not people, there's not things to the right of the door. And I don't know why. But anyway, my point is this, is what you want to do is you want to walk into the room, go to the right of the door, stand up against the wall, get yourself together and be my your brains going I wish I would have come with somebody you know I wonder what there's to drink you know where should I go or whatever and what you're doing is you're waiting for a per you're looking for a person standing all, all alone so that you can go up to them those are the people there this they somehow got standing there all alone like as a speaker it happens to me often except of course I know how to network and go in and start conversations and keep it going but very often the person standing alone is just in that moment where conversation has been done or whatever and if you walk up to them and shake hands and say your name and keywords say your name at the same time it automatically starts developing the uh, relationship it works really really well that way so to the right at the door look around for the person standing all alone Okay, that should work. <laughs> I'm sort of an introvert, so surprisingly enough, I have this, but I usually keep the camera on the guest. <laughs> and I had problems with that. Okay. Yeah, 
and again, it's, we have too short a time to get into all the questions to start, but a lot of that's in the book, and uh, I can cover part of that in the seminar, how to start the conversations. Yes, and we're looking forward to your article in the newsletter next Monday, too. Great. So that Great. will cover a lot of that, too. Well, just before we wrap this up, let's get your contact information for our viewers. Okay, well, it's great. It, it's Kathy with a K at KathyCondon.net. And then my books are on Amazon. So if you just put in Kathy Condon, they'll pop up on there. Or if you put in face to face networking, I'm very proud to say it's still coming up at the top on Amazon under face to face networking. So those are really the two ways. And then, then my, my email address is Kathy with a K at KathyCondon.net and would be delighted to answer questions that anyone has. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being on the show today. My pleasure, Julia. Thanks so much. Okay.